Hi guys, and welcome to our open um, evening webinar uh, for the Online Astronomy Society Academy, offering Jesus Astronomy. Um, very briefly, the Online Astronomy Society offers, uh, for the large part, <coughs> online courses for uh, regarding astronomy, uh, Jesus Astronomy, Space Cadets. Uh, we've also got the Diploma of Astrophysics and Space Science, which uh, is undergoing a revamp at the moment, but that is essentially uh, who we are and uh, what we are doing. And so tonight's webinar, rather screencast, because uh, this is a re-recording, we'll be talking about our GCC Astronomy course, uh, who runs it, who you know, who the, the examining board is, who the tutors are, or course advisors as we call them, and how it works, and and and, and some details of, of how to sign up. <clears throat> We've been. I won't go into too much of a history lesson because you haven't signed up for that. But um, we've been running since about two thousand and nine, um, and you know we've been serving home educators, mainstream, and schools, uh, supporting all sorts of backgrounds. Even the more mature learner has, has signed up with us um, over the years. Um, but that, that's a little bit about who we are. The team. Let's pull that up. Uh, that's yours truly. Uh, I'll leave you to read through that. Um, essentially, um, I'm a chemist by profession um, with, with a passion for astronomy. So I'm the only one of the of, of the uh, course advisors who isn't a professional astronomer. But um, where I come in is I essentially run the, the organization. It was me that founded it. And then me who picks up any technical <laughs> problems and also works to design the courses. So I'm also a qualified um trainer and assessor so that's why i've got this also put it together uh because because i needed a a way in to e-learning from being a classroom based uh trainer and then this was my um my attempt at getting into that mm. dr marshall he should require a little um uh, introduction to, to people um he's taught jesus astronomy for the past 20 years He's also been an experienced examiner for Pearson to Dexel. I believe that's the, the, the principal one he works for. Um, he's also a professional astronomer, having a PhD in X-ray astronomy. And um, But he didn't sort of stay in, in that field. He decided to teach instead. Um, he's, he's taught GCSE physics, um, astronomy and chemistry for the last uh, couple of decades, I believe. Hmm. And he's also the uh, author of the famed book, Jesus to the Astronomy, a guide for pupils and teachers. So he's one of the um, guys who's uh, a principal um, uh, course advisor for Jesus to the Astronomy, as indeed also our course uh, manager. Aniko Sabo has uh, just joined us. Uh, you can see her, her introduction up there. But um, in summary, she holds a master's in astronomy and um, she's working towards another qualification, I believe, in astronomy. She's the only person I know with two PGCEs. Uh, I don't know why you'd have two of them, but fair play to her. That is not an easy course. Um, I couldn't even manage to get one. I mean, I managed to get a, a teaching qualification, but not that one. Anyway, um, <clears throat> she's principally a maths teacher as well. <clears throat> and uh, she, she's gotten involved in GCC Astronomy tutoring in the last year through us. Uh, she's very good. and. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've got uh, excited. I'm, 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 I'm expecting great things from her, um, as we all are. So, what does the course include? Well, this is the size of it. I will say here before I delve too deeply into it, because I don't think I've mentioned it um, anywhere else. Um, <clears throat> this course is um, Pearson to Excel. Um, they are the only um, examining board who offer GCC astronomy. No other exam board does it. So they are the examining board. Uh, we get asked about, you know, who we're accredited to. We're not accredited to anyone. We just offer the training and then um, it's off to the um, <clears throat> relevant exam centre for you to sit and take your exams after. But what we do offer is 24 7 access to the portal digital interactives and quizzes, which are within that portal, uh, downloadable worksheets, email course supports. So if you've got any questions, email your course advisor. Any technical problems, email me, uh, password issues and such. 
We also offer a robotic telescope access, uh, which is uh, which should be explained later. Maths for GCSE astronomy. I should say here, because people are expecting a formal course here, it isn't. There's no assessments to it. There's no coursework involved in it. It's just our pre-recorded videos that we made from some previous webinars. That's all it is. And we're also offering them at no extra charge. So, you know, we could throw them up for another hundred pounds and you'd beef them up with worksheets and such, but we've decided no. Uh, we don't believe we would sell too many of them anyway. So we thought we'll just bundle them all and increase the value of the course. So if people are thinking, oh, well, you know, this isn't a formal course, you're right, it's not. They're pre-recorded videos and we offer them out of goodwill um, for, for our learners uh, to, to follow from and to increase the value of our course to them. Webinars and exam technique and past exam paper questions again. These are our previous years recorded webinars that other people have paid for uh, via webinar subscriptions. And we could have charged extra for these, but we thought, well, hmm. again, we'd bundle them in with, with, the, with the course as it was. So again, you get those at no extra charge. And each year we tend to add more as we go through the webinars. Not so sure that's happening this year because we haven't had much interest, but so nevertheless, if we do and we run them again, they'll be added. I won't say free textbook. It's not a free textbook because you paid for it. And once you pay your um, your setup fee or you, or you pay your £330 or whichever, you'll get sent a copy of that in the post. Mm. Observational tasks sign-off we also um, do, which means when your observational tasks are completed, um, we will sign those off and, and, and uh, you can then present them to the exam centre and be able to sit the exam. Please note with those... They have to be completed. Um, they don't have to be supervised by us like, like in the old days. You just plan them, go outside, observe, gather your data, analyze your data in your own time in accordance to Pearson's and Excel's guidelines. Send them via email to your tutor. They will go over them. And if all been well, tick, 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 you can sit the exam. If not, they'll make suggestions on where you need to improve before they will sign them off. Please note they have to be signed off um, before you can sit the exam. And there's one you need to do for the aided and one for the unaided. So you need to uh, complete both. It's suggested you do two tasks, which if you're hampered by the weather, and that way at least you can get the observational tasks done. Support with exam centres. Uh, please excuse any background noise. I'm recording this from home. Um, support. support. Support with exam centres, this we offer. Um, again, please understand we accept no liability for exam centres. If they decide midway through that they're no longer supporting private students or whatever, that's out of our hands and we accept no liability for it. We don't, uh, we're don't. we only offering um, exam centre um, details as an extra service. We don't get anything from it. We don't get any commission and we don't get paid for it. It's all part of the extra value of service we offer you. And there's new wellbeing material as well on there, which I've created to help you along with your studies. Um, yeah, so fees don't include exam centre or um, exam fees. Um, we can assist you. Uh, I think I've already said mostly. Sorry, I've, I've got the wrong pair of glasses on when I'm looking at this, and some some uh, squinting slightly. Uh, but yeah, I think I've said most of that. Course advisors, LGCC program is very much a self-led course. I will say that, guys. I mean, I'm not going to say anything to get you on board, uh, but we're not box shifters. Um, if the course isn't suitable for, for any given learner, I will say so. If you need to be in a classroom guided by a teacher, this course is not for you. This course is for somebody who can work self-led, who can go into the portal, access the material, and... Um, and, and work at their own pace. I mean, the report is available 24-7, and they can send an email at any time within 24 hours. That doesn't, of course, mean to say you'll get a reply at 10 o'clock at night. You might do if it's, uh, if it's from me, but if it's to me, but uh, otherwise, um, in, at the end of the day, it's very much a self-led course. Also, this brings us on to course advisor tutor. What is the difference? Well, a tutor you'd expect to be available, give you one-to-one -one via videos, video sessions, and so on. Um, as you can imagine, for £330-ish, 
it's not enough money to cover that kind of service, that level of service for two years. So to try to remove the confusion, um, we call them course advisors. And, and what they are is they'll take any questions via email that you may have. They'll answer any questions via email that you may have. Um, if you're really stuck, Nigel Marshall has been known to hold a, a Zoom call, um, you know, an ad hoc Zoom call with you. If it requires much more assistance than that, that then maybe you might want to consider signing up with them as a tutor, which they have their own fees that they charge. They're, 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 we're completely out of that picture. Um, <clears throat> but we also um, don't charge commission on that. So, you know, you can get you, you can engage them as a personal tutor off the back of that. But uh, again, at the end of the day, it's not a service that we offer and we don't take any commission off of our course advisors for it. Um, but, you know, in summary, this is very much a self-led course. The materials are there for you to go through at your convenience. But please understand there is a timetable to complete. So if you do have other uh, courses you're on or other commitments, please make sure you, you commit adequate time. Because at the end of the day, you know, you've got how long you've got to complete the course with us. We don't offer extra extra time for people who have been sick or people who have been otherwise busy. You've paid for the two years. It's up to you to get organized and sit within the two years. Uh, obviously, we're running a business at the end of the day. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's all about making sure as well that you can commit to the course when you initially sign up. That's what's new, although there's a few things extra since I compiled that list. We've got new payment plans. Um, we have been charging 330 quid or dividing that by two. And, and we've noticed and we've heard that some people have struggled with that. So we have bought out some installments, which is embedded in one of the plans. We are recording uh, pre-recorded video lessons to complement the, the material, uh, which Nigel Marshall is working on. And these are to complement the text-based. When the course was first introduced back in 2017, 2018, the format was quite acceptable um, and people enjoyed it. But obviously, as the years have gone by, people have gone more visual now. So, so Given that we don't know when the new spec is coming out, we've decided to go ahead and, and produce the material to complement our, our current. So the visual uh, pre-recorded videos will be there and there's a sample at the end, which will give an idea of what they'll be like. So hopefully September 2024, they'll be live. Joining a new telescope to aid our learners in collecting their observations. Yeah, that's not the Liverpool John Morse telescope we've been using. We've got a smart telescope, a CSRS S50, um, that operates only via an Android or, or iPhone, so it doesn't work for a computer. Um, but I found the workaround where you can connect in and, and control it, and I'm hoping I can offer that to some students to, to, to book in, maybe at short notice, gather a few pictures of the moon or the sun, and, and but they have to control the telescope to go there and take the pictures and then repark it back. Only that way can it be legal for Pearson to deck cell. I can't do that for you. Um, but we can help a limited number of students that way gather their information. And um, yeah, in, in that way, it's hope that we can you know provide some extra uh, steer. That's not an opportunity to get help or feedback on your observations. It's just an opportunity to come in and collect them. Bearing in mind when I'm offering the service, it's, it's in the middle of the evening for me. I am a father with three children. I'm off of trying to put them to bed pretty late at night and trying to keep the place quiet at that time too, which is why I, you know, I can offer that service and that service alone. I can't take any specific questions while uh, doing it. It's just to collect observations and have them emailed to you. Any questions you may have, you can email your course advisor. New well-being videos, yes, uh, these are a few things written by me uh, about how best we study, you know, about work, the study life balance kind of thing. Also, what's not mentioned there are <clears throat> new um, observational tasks videos I've put together. Um, a lot of people have come back and said that, well, it's helpful what we offer. They'd like to see more visual um, uh, you know, explanation, which is what I hope to put together this time. So there's a new module on that for you to follow, and it goes through what's expected with these observational tasks and, and generally how to carry them out. So hopefully a bit more information for you there, again, at no extra charge. <clears throat> the four payment plans. I'm not going to go through these. This is off of our website. Um, 
I think I've already covered most of that. Uh, essentially, plan, B, plan A and Plan B are one-year sittings, and Plan C and Plan D are two-year sittings. So if you've planted the city one year, you can take out Plan A, which is the flat £230 payments, or Payment Plan B, which is where we split it in two. Um, I think, no, that goes into installments, sorry, it goes into installments. Um, so very briefly, I'll say it here, because it hasn't been mentioned anywhere else. Um, there is a 14-day calling off period with us when you do sign up for the GCSE, which is if you decide it's not for you or the format's not for you, you can at that point say, okay, um, I'd like a refund. And within the 14-day period, we will, of course, refund your money, um, any admin fee you've paid. And, of course, you must return the resources uh, sent to you so they arrive in mint condition so that they can be uh, resold by the publisher. If, if there is any damage... And you can't resell the the the, the uh, book. Then the then the, the, the amount of fifteen pounds will have to be deducted from any monies paid. Um, unfortunately, that's, that's the way that stands with um, with the material. Um, what I will say is, while we do offer a no quibble uh, fourteen day refund, because the amount of admin it takes to a add you. So as soon as you, you you've paid up, we have to add you. But we've got to pay people. We've, we've got to get you into the portal, get you onboarded. And everything else because the amount of admin it takes to do that and then undo it if you do decide to leave us we did think of having a another admin fee if you wanted to come back but i, I think on the back of it um <clears throat> i think it's easier we just don't accept people back who have cancelled it's it's uh if you've cancelled a very 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 rarely do people cancel very rarely um, i mean usually that they're quite happy with what we offer for the price we're offering it, you know, they're happy with our support and what we offer as part of our fee. So very rarely do people leave. But if people do, um, we don't, we, we, in the nicest possible way, and in, in, in the Eastern and age of, of trying to be, you know, with interpersonal skills and so, which I struggle to be good at, um, I'm afraid we, we won't have you back if, if you do decide to leave. Um, that is our thinking is if you didn't enjoy the course, then you won't now. Um, and also at the same time, I've left a no off of the astronomy there, haven't I? But also at the same time, um, if you don't like that course, you won't like any course. So if for any reason, I mean, if you're not happy for any reason, let us know. Maybe we can fix it. Um, if there's a problem um, which which is causing you to, to, to move forward, let us know. But if you cancel, that means we've got to get refunds back. It means Nigel's got to, you've got to have the book sent back. Uh, but which you have to send back at your own um, expense, by the way. Um, it means I've got to get you off the portal, get you out of our details, get out of our databases. All that takes uh, time. Um, so as such, if you do cancel within your 14-day period, we, we won't have you back. Um, also, on top of that, once you do commit, if you are on the payment plans, we expect you to make all of them. Um, if you default on on them, refuse to pay, we will take further action. I'm very sorry about that, but the, the, you know, at the end of the day, when you sign up, it's made clear what the terms and conditions are, and and it's made clear what we require. You can, of course, just pay the balance. That's fine, but we do expect the full payment made up. Otherwise, it's not fair on other people who do pay their full uh, fees. And of course, if, 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 if we let some get away with it, everybody will. So fortunately, if people do default on the payment, we will take it further. Obviously, if you've got problems paying, then, then let us know. At least if we know that we, we can do something in place, maybe. But I'm afraid, you know, we are running a business and, um, in order to stay afloat, um, but we have to implement what, what we're implementing. Uh, we try to be nice about it. We don't want to be, you know, we, we, we don't want to be like, uh, roles, but, uh, Sadly, we've got to do what we've got to do um, to, to keep the OS Academy um, going. These are the plans. I'm not going to go through these. I don't think my throat will take it at the moment. It's getting that hot, nasty, dry sensation again. And I've left my beaker of water downstairs, which, again, isn't helping. But anyway, um, you can pause that and have a read at will. And it's also on our website. Um, so what happens once you've signed up? I should have said that at the beginning, shouldn't I? Well, once you've gone to our website and, and you've clicked on the package you want, you've completed, you've, you've, you've added your details in and you've submitted your payments, we will then be in touch with our information. 
request. So we'll ask you for your full name. We'll ask you for an email address to, to register with it. That's to put you on the portal. And we'll also ask for a full address. And uh, that's to send the book out to you and your proposed exam centre. If it's your own centre, that is fine. If it's one of those, we need to know about it because they'll want to verify that with us further along the line. Once we've got all that information, you'll be sent joining instructions and introduced to your course advisor. So once, well, once that's when your book will arrive a few days or a week later, depending if, if Nigel's about to send it off, it will go pretty soon. If he's on holiday in Bonnie, Scotland, that may take a bit longer. Um, but at the end of the day, there is a, a soft copy of the book you can use. So that is pretty much how that works. Also, please allow at least 24 to 48 hours to receive any details. Um, once you've signed up, uh, I won't necessarily know about it because I have to add your menu. You see that there's no automatic uh, process for it, especially at the weekends. I mean, if you sign up on the Friday and I'm on the train heading to London to see family, you're not going to be out until Sunday or maybe Monday morning or afternoon. So yeah, I, I may send a quick email to say, I've got it. Uh, please bear with me. Apologies for any convenience. But that's generally the turnaround. And unfortunately, because the way that, that the course works, because we have to make it safe, I can't have people just enroll on there. I like to know who people are as well, which is why I give you your login in details. Otherwise, people invent their own usernames and possibly even their own sort of name. And I don't know who you are and possibly don't even know where your payment is. So that's why I do it this way. It's also safer. Uh, webinars, yes, these do keep coming up. These are optional. Um, these, let me clarify one confusion here um, but before we go on. Um, these are not one-to-one -one live lessons. They're, they're not specifically that. I mean, they could be, but 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 they're not. Um, also, these are completely different to the GCC Astronomy program that we offer. So if you signed up for that, you do not get this as part of it. That's because it takes a lot more effort for, for Nigel to put the material through and for me to be available online to set everything up. Uh, so, so, so it's charged separately, I'm afraid. These are optional and um, the subscription does not give access to this recording. So yeah, if you paid by subscription or paid your one-off fee, it does not give um, access to this recorded concept. Pre-recorded videos, I think I've already said about that. I mean, I will say a little bit more about the webinars while we're here, though. So have I mentioned it further down the line? No. Okay. So what these are is we're going to be going over um, past exam paper questions um, from the previous year. And what we do is we, we look at these past exam paper questions, we ask what they're asking, and we look at how best to answer. And these are very much a group discussion where other learners are welcome to come in and, and, and have a go. And uh, please note, if you come in without having looked at the questions, um, I mean, I don't think I sent the questions out last time, and I think I stopped because nobody was actually reviewing them. But maybe I'll go back to that if we do it again. But again, it's, it's very much a interactive thing. If you just sit there and watch Nigel go through the questions and, and answer them, you won't get any value out of it. If, on the other hand, you have a go at answering and put your questions forward, even if they're wrong, then um, but then at least you've learned. And, you know, there's no problem with getting it wrong. But we all make mistakes. What matters is you learn where you made the mistake and, and, and you know how better to answer the questions next time round. And that's what these webinars are for. It's to give people the maximised opportunity at, at maximising their grade. I'm not an organisation that likes to run upsells, and these aren't an upsell. These are just an optional extra. But I think for those who think they should get them for extra, if you look at what we're already giving for the money and notice that what we offer goes up each and every year, but what we charge doesn't. Um, and I still think if you compare us to other organisations who charge a lot more than us, they're not even offering a fraction of what we offer. So, so I think it's quite reasonable where we are. And, and I'm proud of that because we've got very passionate course advisors and the material I think is top notch. And if anybody was to engage in both the course, I mean, that's probably why I keep the course uh, fee low to so it makes it uh, affordable uh, to, to sign up to the webinars. Um, I will say also while I'm here, I don't know whether we're running them for 24, 25. It depends on the take up. I'll know more probably towards the end of August if they're going to run at all. We have to have the demand, guys. 
Um, if, if we get below a certain number, then, then it's not worth our while. And if, if we do send a link, it will be a case of the sign up, certainly direct debit. But if I haven't confirmed it, trust me, you will not get billed. Okay. I know people are very wary about uh, putting credit card details in, but this is me we're talking about. And I don't take people's money for a product that we're not selling. So when I say you won't get billed, you won't get billed. If in the event that they do run, I will then add you to the relevant package on there and then your the, the, then your payments will begin. And, and and you'll know about that because GoCard is a pretty good at emailing you when you're going to get charged. Um, we run two of them as well when we do run them. So final two Thursdays of the month, the, the, the penultimate Thursday is for the first years and the final Thursday is for the second years. We charge a bit more for the, for the second years because we expect the second years to do both the first and second year webinars. It aids them with their revision. That's how we see it. So we charge you a little bit more for that. And for the, those first years that become second years, oh, I don't have to enroll for the second year because I've already done it last year. No, because we're looking over the exam paper questions for the, for, for that year, for that you were first year. So, so it also helps benefit you there too. So, um, and a lot of our students, I believe, benefit massively from them and it can help them go up a grade or two. Uh, I think I've already said about that. Um, when I said, Nigel, any further, anything further to it, but he's not here to comment, so we'll skip that. Remote sessions, I've already said about that. Never mind that. And, yeah, we've got a few other courses joining us, yeah. Sorry, as I said, it's getting a bit hard to read the squint on that. The GCSE Maths, yeah, um, Aniko Sabo, our, our tutor, is, is preparing those. Um, she spent the last year and a bit uh, creating videos and material for this Herculean task, and I can only give the lady my full admiration and empathise with her pain for doing it. We were hoping to have them ready for September 2024, but unfortunately, um, what life gets in the way. The poor lady's been training to be a data scientist. Her husband has gone to the Falklands on a contract and she's also trying to complete, I think, a master's or bachelor's degree as well. So this has been kind of bounced backwards and forwards from the back burner to the front burner. And uh, her husband's returning from the Falklands in July of this year, it's August of this year as we speak. So that's going to um, distract her even further. So I don't know whether they'll be completed by 24, but probably soon after that. Once her uh, marking has completed, because I did, did I mention she's also an examiner too for GCSE maths. The poor lady, like me, um, needs more hours in the day. And speaking of which, uh, so, so I don't know whether it'll be soon after September 24 that that course is launched. And then in walks me doing IGCSE chemistry. Well, what's an astronomer doing GCSE chemistry? Well, two of them letters after my name the bsc with honors that's in chemistry that's not in uh astronomy unfortunately so i have had a look at the syllabus and thought i wouldn't mind teaching this as a sideline and i thought well a bit like why i built the gcc astronomy um online i thought well the only way i'm going to really know if i can still teach that is to build the course and yeah um i think the nico is a bit further along than me there i, I mean i'm getting back to them um <clears throat> I don't know if mine will be ready. My mine certainly won't be ready by September 2024. But if anybody has a requirement for GCSE chemistry and would like a very passionate, dedicated, knowledgeable tutor, I can help. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to be teaching up to A-level. Um, but it's been a few years since I did my degree. But I've, I've never really been out of the field uh, much. You know, I'm a bit of a jack of all trades here. But nevertheless, if anybody has a requirement for, for GCI, GCSE chemistry, do please let me know. And if anybody's looking for a one-to-one -one tutor for maths, an eco lady. Um, info at onlineastronomycourses.co.uk if there's any interest there. As I'm uh, doing a silent, lonely screencast, there won't be any questions, but feel free to email them to info at onlineastronomycourses.co.uk. I will say in all this, and this is my third attempt at re-recording this, um, I do appear to be on the spectrum uh, for autism. So if I come across as being a bit blunt or a bit brash, it's not intended. I'm just very passionate about what we do and very passionate and proud of what we do and our course advisors. Uh, we do have very good feedback from our previous uh, students who've gone on to do great things. 
and 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 some of them are at university now and, and some even may have gone on to, to on to their careers um and we're very proud of that uh, but i want to say at the end of the day that we're very passionate about what we do and i'm very passionate about what we offer and i will say too that if people do think we overcharge well the course advisors don't take much and i don't take a wage out of it if it helps i, I don't take a single penny for myself out of the whole thing it all goes back into the business um helps pay for certain toys like the sea stars some equipment to, to, to aid aid them um, better teaching but i personally don't take anything from it and um that's my little girl in the background there just about to come in so i better say thank you and goodbye and if you've got any further questions you know where i am and i look forward to well welcoming you onto the course soon um so all that said and done clear skies and good luck whichever way you decide to go thank you